Good afternoon, guys. It's the forbidden fruit, and the results are in on the fertilizer experiment. Um, so this is the final result, the conclusion of this year's fertilizer experiment. And this is the story of two trees that were started at the same time last year. They were both the same size with the same amount of roots and one I decided to use Blossom Booster Jacks uh, 103020 I think it is and the other one with just natural organic soil mix so just by looking at the picture here we already know what is who is who you can tell the guy on the left over there is Mr. Fertilizer and the guy over here on the right is Clearwater um, so this experiment is about seeing the difference between the two and as you can see mr clearwater over here does not have that much production um i have picked a few figs and the figs were really good um small not large but we probably had maybe like eight or nine figs on this one tree i, I would say like eight um mr fertilizer over here who was fertilized pretty much every day up until the last day of July. I stopped fertilizing it knowing that it was gonna ripen within the next month. And I didn't wanna continue fertilizing this tree. Um, just the fact that I don't believe in over fertilizing. So I stopped fertilizing this tree at the end of July and it started making its first figs that I can pick off the tree about close to almost two weeks ago, about a week and a half ago. Um, and you can see that this tree is absolutely loaded. Um, I've had over, I counted well over 55 figs on this tree. I've already picked 10, and there's still many more to, to, to pick. Maybe more than 10, but, but these figs are actually a lot larger than Mr. Clearwater. Um, as far as taste over the period of a week, you know, between tasting Mr. Fertilizer and non-fertilizer, um, you know, they both are very sweet. So, you know, I kind of have, you know, a little bit of experience leading up to this one review of the two. So it's not just a bland, not well thought out review with any experiment experience. All right, so I'm gonna pick the figs and then we're gonna do the review and see how we do there. Good afternoon, guys. I wanna say thank you to everybody out there who's uh, supported me and my channel. If you have not, please consider subscribing and liking my videos. Um, so here it is, the final results on the fertilizer experiment. One, was one tree was fertilized, the other one was not. As we saw that one tree had well over 55 figs on it, and I've been picking off the tree for the past two weeks, which, you know, because of the fertilization, it caused earlier ripening than the other tree. Um, the other tree just started ripening a few days ago or, or about a week ago. I've been, I picked maybe a few figs off of it already. Very sweet, tiny figs. Um, not very big, but, you know, on a second year tree that's going natural, usually this is what happens. You know, you kind of, each year, you a little more fig, and they get a little bit larger. Um, because the other tree was fertilized, it had all the proper nutrients that it possibly needed to, to grow and develop like it did since day one. Um, I am blown away by the amount of production that it produced on its second year. I mean, we're talking over 50 something figs. And not only were they 50 something figs, a lot of these figs were well over 25 grams. I, I know there was one that I picked and it was almost close to 40 grams. It was a big fig. Um, a couple things that I noticed on the fertilized tree, there was a lot more deformities within the fig. So there was a lot more like doubled fig formations than the non-fertilized fig. But that could also, because it also produced a lot more figs than the other one. So it's just out of ratio and, and stats. So let's crack these beasts open and let's see what we're working here as far as quality of the fig. 
Um, could have probably waited picking these. But, uh, you know, we got some rain coming into the forecast. So, uh, yeah, okay. So the two large figs on this are fertilized, and then the small fig is the non-fertilized. I tell you, I, I picked figs last week that were syrupy and gloppy and you know now that we're getting in later into this uh, season over here we're getting to the final few weeks up here in the northeast before we start getting those cooler temps at night you guys out there that are considering doing in-ground trees or anything like that you should be analyzing where your sun is now being late summer and getting close to the fall solace very important that you you check out the solace now so you could have it the knowledge for when you plant your in ground tree so you know where that sunlight angle is now because right now this is key and I can tell that my fig trees are dropping and my figs are dropping in quality because I'm losing out on a lot of sunlight and it's happening pretty quickly here so here's mr. fertilizer I'm gonna taste fertilizer I'm gonna pick the nicest one and sweet, very sweet consistency on the fig is good. It's not chewy, it's not soft, it's not mushy. It's a nice consistent texture. A very good fig. Uh, here we go, Mr. Non Fertilizer. Small little fig, and let's taste this beast. So small I need to, to, to really give you my honest opinion I need to have the other side all right I gotta say mr. fertilizer definitely tasting sweeter but I think that's because it's a larger fig and um, it's a little more ripe than that, that smaller one. That smaller fig, I could have probably waited another couple more days. But I pulled one off of it this morning, just check to see so I can make this video, and it came off of my hand. I probably should have waited because it was a sweet fig. And well, I gotta say, you know, as a non-fertilizer user, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, Jack's Blossom Booster. Um, I mean, a second year tree putting over 50 something figs on it and producing the quality that they're at. I mean, geez, if you're looking to produce, not caring about your own personal health, whether that conventional fertilizer is doing anything bad to you, go ahead, do it. You know, why not? Um, I've learned in school that, you know, going natural is the way. But that's not to say that I may fertilize a couple more trees next year, um, just on account of production. Uh, I'm not going to fertilize all of them because I still have my beliefs, but that's not to say, like I said, we'll um, do some extra trees next year. I plan on putting on another in-ground fig tree, the family heirloom tree, and that tree that I decide to put in the ground, I think I may fertilize it the first couple of years just to kind of get its girth and get it flowing with uh, figs. But that's to be determined. And for this review, I think it's concluded that Mr. Fertilizer wins this year. Um, next year is another story. We'll see what happens between the two. I'm gonna continue these two trees and I'm gonna kinda keep a, I'm gonna keep them monitored on the situation to you guys. And uh, also just for my own results and my own tracking history so guys thank you very much for watching my video if you have not please subscribe like if not go on it doesn't matter thank you very much